Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to NS9 Gaming. I'm Cody. Ryan Reynolds is a pirate until 2030. I'm pretty damn excited about that. I don't know about you guys, but I'm sure you're all excited too. Uh, the deal got done today, so we're playing some of the show. Uh, I mean, we were scheduled to play the show anyway, but this feels like that's a good reason to be playing the show, is to celebrate the pirates. The pirates are off to a great start. 16 and 7. I mean, I would have never thought we'd get this far. Like, I never, th I didn't think, but we're nine games above 500. I didn't think they'd get above nine games the entire season. But here we are. And we're about to steamroll the Dodgers. Like, we're coming into this Dodgers series with so much momentum. Incredible. There's no Max Muncy for this series, he's on uh, paternity leave. They got Mookie Betts playing shortstop, which I guess, I mean, playing well, but see if he can handle the Pirates. <laughs> but anyway, let's get into it. Let's get into the stream. Uh, our last game looks like we won. Yeah, we beat the Nationals 6-4. to four. Drew Baker got the win. Bednar got the save. And Connor Joe was the player of the game with 3-4, for four, two runs. Scored three RBIs and two doubles. So... Go to the calendar. We have an off day. Let's advance the day. Playing Tampa Bay. This is this is what everybody's been waiting for. Pirates versus Rays. And we got Vinny V, Vince Velasquez, not our friend Vino. The love you, Vino. But we got Vinny V going up against Zach Eflin. Let's see how this goes. First game of the stream. I'm pretty excited about this one. I didn't even realize I was playing the Rays. This is what everybody wants to see. Everybody wants to see this game right now. This is the World Series. For the road alternates. Playing at the horrid trop. Rich Hill's injured. I, didn't, I did not remember that. Uh... <laughs> Oh, just getting everyone pregnant. That is right. They are getting everyone pregnant. That's why so many players are on paternity leave. Who should we make any changes to the lineup? Cruz, Hayes, Reynolds, Choi. Always cold. Let's switch out Choi for Santana. Winsky, Castro, Kutch, Connor Joe, Andy. We're gonna stick with it. All right, let's get into it. I'm pretty excited. I didn't, this is the World Series everybody wants to see. And that's, it's live on MS9. We're just playing it right now in Pittsburgh. No, we're not in Pittsburgh. Sorry. From inside Tropicana Field we're in Tropicana. Bay, interleague baseball on MLB The Show. Here it's we go. Pittsburgh Pirates taking on if you watched Tampa the Bay vlog Ray. last night, the Trop got a cameo. We made fun of it. <laughs> and we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Please be sure to watch the vlog. I worked very hard on that. It was just about ready to go. It, I enjoyed my time in Florida, but I would have enjoyed it more if I wasn't carrying around a camera the whole time. Which also happened to be my phone. We'll see today. I wasn't recording the whole time. It would have been a hell of a time. Still had a hell of a time. And you'll see it when you watch the vlog. But it's just all that hard work. I don't want it to go to waste. So please watch the vlog. First pitch ball. All right. We are underway in game one of the series. And the one oh. Swing and a grounder foul for space side. Foul ball action. Left hand hitter waits. Ah, ground up. Roller right side. And I even warmed up before this stream. I was playing Diamond Dynasty, my Pirates team. Now batting key Brian Hayes. The Pirates Diamond Dynasty team is coming along. Might be might be doing a stream with that sooner rather than later. Ah. And there's a strike on the outside corner. We'll need a first baseman on it.
There we go, Hayes. And a base hit right there. So a man aboard now with one away. Yeah, I mean, you could play the show your entire life, and I think you still... It's hard. The hitting is just the PCI and everything. Like, you think you move it where it needs to go, and then you look at the PCI placement afterwards, and it's nowhere near where you thought you'd be. I just... I'm tempted to just go to timing instead of using PCI, but I know that would, that's basically cheating. We're not good. Oh, there we go. Get down. Ah, right to him. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself. He lead off Homer off Syndergaard tonight. Right, right I can see it happening. For it, but in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. And now it's the switch hitter. Come yeah, I I agree. Like it's I like that it's difficult. I like that it's not easy. At some point, right, you think you get a little better at it, <laughs> but you don't. It's just like a losing no battle. That's ball one. On Santana. Should have double it. Nope. To the right side. Round out. Loud. And that'll All right. Out. We expected a competitive game, okay? Now the Rays will get we expected this. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Manuel Margot. The wide to kick the pitch. Yep. That's in there. Hey. And there's the strike. Wow, that's 89 on the gun. On Vinny V. Change up. It's like good hitting if you're looking for it, but because of the speed differential between the fastball and that pitch, really hard for a hitter to get on time with it. <laughs> now batting Wander Franco. <laughs> One for four in Sunday's game. Wonder. And first offering is fouled off. What are our thoughts on Wander Franco? He had a nice play last night, didn't he? I didn't watch it. Jim was screaming his pants in the crowd about. Here comes a pitch. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. The pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Oh, I did see the bare hand catch. Okay. Uh, I have not tried pinpoint pitching, and I don't plan on it because One down this is my happy place. The meter is my happy place. Slow ground ball <laughs> to the right side. Castro fires over to first. Out. Franco gone on the play. You know, I did see the bare hand catch. I I don't know. I mean, two outs, base is empty. The glove assisted him. That's all I got to say. You could argue that he caught it with the glove first. And then just like went up with the ball in one hand, glove in the other. I mean, no, it was a good play. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just talking smack. It was a good play. And it falls. So he gets on base and keeps it going. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle so like, and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the, I just don't game, associate that type of get away from like but so far, movement with a baseball game. With I almost like it's. It seems to me like it's almost like playing P, uh, not PGA. Uh, yeah, PGA 2K23, like going back and forth. But I know you you got to go around. And, I don't know. I think wow, the like, I grew up with the meter. The meter is what I'm comfy with. I don't like pitching in the first place. I'm, I'm one of those kids. It's like I want to play offense all the time. I love being the DH or EH in uh, youth sports, youth baseball. I hated playing the field unless I was playing first base. Misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. One left for Tampa. We played an inning. Now, also, we have to remember the last time that I changed anything with how we're playing this game, we had like two straight streams of me just having twenty to nothing game. So I don't know if we want to go through that again. Come on, Jack. Up 
the middle. On to first. Out. One out in the second. Now it's going to be Rodolfo Castro. Rodolfo. Rudy. Oh, 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 oh. I thought it was going to hang. I thought it was going to hang a bit. That misses oh. the zone. And now it's even one and one. Kenny Jansen doing home plate duties in this one. Not a huge strike zone from Jansen, so he can't really be called a pitcher's umpire, but he does like the bottom part of the strike zone. We may see some pitchers steal a few strikes down there, especially the ones right below the knees. That's if their catcher can present oh, it properly. Heck no. Missed two, inside two, with two, the two, curve. Two. What about some no-nos? Like you can't call the we umpire blue the way you do any pitches. in Little League or high school, right? <laughs> yeah. Even in the minor leagues, there we go. Learn, Three, two yeah, count. Uh, you call the umpire blue. You better know his name. And uh, that's just part of being a professional player and even a major league player. Oh, Fouled off again. laid it in there for me. I couldn't take advantage. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been there. in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, way outside, hometowns, I had and as well hobbies listed. Just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little. Keep them in this protect <laughs> mode. You could be on base already. Here we go. Oh, Here we go. Drew the walk. That is Cody is prego. I am not prego. Three two count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. I'm not prego. The strike zone. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. Slowly on the ground to short. No, that's on me. That's on me, not that. This is safe first. It's a fielder's choice. Up next for the Pirates, Connor Joe. That one's in there, 0-1. All right. McCutcheon, the runner at first with two gone. There you go, Connor Joe. Short center. In the gap. Low makes the grab and hey. the inning. So one left for Pittsburgh. Hey, I'm proud of us getting season. that walk though. No score. <laughs> getting that walk was clutch. Back here at the ballpark, and now the first baseman, Rowdy Telez. Yeah, Rowdy Telez. How'd that happen? Velasquez. That's not real life, right? Drive. And that's in there. How do you still the on? First pitch strike right Brewers. there for him. He's gonna have to do that real life, consistently right? if he's gonna give any length to his skipper. The ball, 1 is no. outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Just missed with that backdoor break. I'm not going to lie. Rowdy Talese scares me. Miss or called strike 0-2 count. Instead, it's 1-1. One, one. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. And a 1-2. Fouls it back one. with two strikes. Contact is effective. Allen and everything. Pitch. Doesn't make any sense. The plate, they'll do it again. Also, really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. <sighs> Next offering is foul. Why is Rowdy Talese so resilient? The pitch. Bounce to the left. You're side. kidding me. And that squirts through. Around first, digging for two. And he's there with a lead off the That was bad. Well, he bad really baseball. Battle for that one. Man, that was so fun to watch. With a pitch away, that's exactly what you want to do with it. Drive it the other way. And right there, just barely able to keep it fair down the line for the double. Runner in scoring oh, position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Had oh. Some trouble with it. Get the first haze. I he beat it. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Real life, Hayes would have had that. Comes up to him. Christian Bethencourt. And the first ball. pitch misses for ball one. And Hayes redeem himself in for a triple play. On the ground, a third. Triple play? Triple play? Hey. Safe there. Oh. 
Oh, we only got one out. <laughs> I thought we were going to get a triple play. I really thought we were getting the triple play right after I predicted it. Oh, my God. Imagine if I got that triple play. <laughs> Imagine if I got that triple play, dude. Oh, man, that was close. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. This guy absolutely flies. The oh, man. Wants to turn two, but they've got to get a ball they can do it with. Make sure Welcome, Mike. I don't care that Hayes got a hit. He almost had a triple play. Nothing. Like, oh, my God. Imagine. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. And they stop him at third. Oh, so man. This is loaded with one away. Could have been out of this inning. Hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit. Maybe spread out, but... He got the job done right there. Jose Siri in the box now. Take strike one. And Boog, I'd say he's due. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit one to the ball. right side Two into strike. the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read That's and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Here's a 2 2. Got him. There we go. Here we go, Vinny V. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Certainly a strikeout. <laughs> Hayes has a 900 OPS, 60 games into my first check. No, Bucko Mike just doesn't give him enough credit. Of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big oh, two-out at bat coming up now. Margot swings through it for strike one. Off Whoa. the mark there. One and one. Ramirez on third. Bethancourt at second. Low. On at first with two down. Next pitch is popping. We got out of it, but man, that is that. I really wanted that triple play, dude. <laughs> and the Rays leave him loaded. We'll move to the third with no score. Back now in Tampa Bay, wow. top half of the third inning. Here's the third Pirates Andy. catcher now, Andy Rodriguez. That's oh. a bullet, but it goes foul. Every good hit I've had has gone foul. Next ball pitch one. is outside. One ball, one strike. There you go, Andy. Line drive and a base hit. So now back to the top of the order. So the Pirates batting order turns over. Here's O'Neill Cruz. He's 0 for 1. Oh. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Fade, fade. Low makes the play, and there's Need one. that to fade into the gap. Happen. All right, Cruz, so get another in, single. Keep Ryan Hayes. He has, as they like to say, light tower power. Not a big guy, but a big swing. And thunder. Did you say he has light tower power? I swear they call every hitter in this game Quick throw a power the threat. Team. Lead runner holds it second. I've been playing Diamond Dynasty. For that at bat, that's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride. These announcers were shut up. Early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. I've been playing Diamond Dynasty, and every time Jiwon Bay comes up to bat, they say he's a power hitting second baseman. He is not. And now it's going to be Brian Reynolds. Chopped in the ground. Loud. Tosses to first. I don't advance as the runners, but now we got two. He says that every single time Hayes comes up. I swear. He would have light tower power Next if he could lift the ball. Baseman, Carlos Santana. 0 for 1 so far. Oh. That one ran inside. Uh, I may or may not have pressed X. Not gonna, not gonna admit to that, but I may or may. There we go. Back to the mound. The score two. The score's two. One runs in. The second run scores. I'm talking about Santana. Gets him on the board first, coming through with two RBIs on that swing. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Jack Sawinski, the next pirate to hit. Rolled out to second in his first at bat. 
Ball no. one, no strikes. Rays don't want this smoke, Jim. Rays don't want this smoke. Jim, you missed it. I almost said a triple play with Hayes. Starting with Hayes. Now a screamer into the outfield. And that's the inning. I predicted it too. I knew it was gonna come right to him. Stepped on third, couldn't get second and first. Didn't get second and first. It's the Pirates 2, the Rays nothing. Set for the bottom of the third. Now the batter now, Wander Franco. He swings and misses no at the first pitch. 0-1. Right. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just Whoa. That one ripped right center field. That's down. One I need to like actually pay attention. And he's got like double. looking down at my. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Everything was. Yes, I only got one out, Jim, but it was set up for a triple play. To replicate with every rep you take, you want good balance, barrel directly to the baseball, and good long Ball, extension down. after contact out in front of home plate. Man, there are a lot of doubles in a swing like that. One more. And now it's even up. Just no, off the, the outside edge. Not really a I did almost get a triple play, you jackass. Balls, so that makes me think they're not really wanting to challenge him here. Hammers that one deep left. Jim just comes in here with this negative energy, and we we give up a two-run home run. Get out of here, Jim. You got calls all day. Get out of here. Then they add a pair. Two-two. So, Singy, this is a little bit of a surprise. A guy known for a lot. make another stupid sale. One over the fence. Well, if you're a little That's too a early, you'll get some elevation in the ball, get out of the ballpark. For him, it's kind of a mistake. But you know what? When you have such a good approach, every now and then you're going to run into one. And he grounds one to the right side. And that one finds its way through. Yeah, you tell him, Eric. Delete your fucking account, Jim. In a row for the offense. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little no. bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get one you ball. a knock. No Velez in the box now no. as he looks at ball one. Second plate appearance of the day for him. They say you win. Two balls. One Loud. strike. The board here at first with nobody out. Oh, that one two. in for a strike, two and two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of the yeah. double play here. That's why we don't let. That's why we make Jim scream at night. Nobody's gonna watch. Swings and misses. <laughs> struck him out. Some high cheese for strike three. Harold Ramirez. Good news. Just dish. struck out Rowdy Feliz. On an infield that guy. single his first time. In there and it's 0-1. Ramirez in his fourth year, 28 years old, and they went out and made a trade no for him last Two season. Strikes. And oh, one no. and two. Yeah. Tied up here in the early going. Ah. Him there it is. Oh, nice job right there. He struck him out twice. The pitch before looked like it was strike three. Doesn't get the call. Bears down. Throws another quality pitch oh, for the strikeout. Bethancourt now at the plate as he swings through strike one. And a foul ball. Rowdy Tellez. I don't care. I don't like him. Why would I say his name right if I like if I didn't like him? The 2 Swings and misses. Struck him out. The Rays with a two-run homer. Why well, call you jump? I don't like you Watch sometimes, Major Jim. Baseball. Why well, call you jump? on the show. And welcome back as we go to the top of the fourth at the plate for Pittsburgh. Rodolfo Castro. Eflin. Back to work. Bounce to the right side. One up, one down. He's out. And now it's Andrew McCutcheon. Oh, for one, he hit into a field. I don't think he hit a first time. There it is. Now that smack to right center. Oh. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And yeah, there's two away. Connor Joe getting ready to hit. He's 0 for 1. Out 
out to short. What's what's Jim's record in OOTP? Jim, what's your record in OOTP? On three pitches. Welcome back. Ready to go. Bottom four. Here's the center fielder, Josh Lowe. Right. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. You're only four games over 500. That's sad. I think I'm five. And now it's Jose Siri. And Too downstairs. Low. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Ball to strike. The pitch. Line drive. Base hit. Around second on his way to third. Throw comes in. Runner stop. Second and uh, third. Nobody good. out. A couple of hits in a row for him. ain't playing well. The phrase short to it long through it and that's a great example of it right there got the barrel in the hitting zone early screwed it up with the well-timed swing and came away with a beautiful line Damn drive in the center field he is getting rough Manuel Margot up to the plate All right. There's a strike. Yeehaw! Outside corner for a strike. Popped up. Castro makes the catch, and there's one gone. Any V heard you talking shit, Jim? Here's Wander Franco. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Swing oh, and a miss. Geez. Kicks and fires. Swings and he pops it up near the pitcher's mound. Cruz snags it for the second out. Oh, that's a frustrating at bat right there. Big opportunity and just missed it. I know he wanted to do some damage. Next guy, I'll have to pick him up. Ball. Diaz. Up yeah, call him. Um. Time as he lays off inside ball one. They literally prefaced this game saying the ump likes the call. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at bats and the biggest one he's had so far. He doesn't look anxious at all. Check swing, go. appeal to first, and yes, he did. He went around. Line and a base hit into right. All right, Vinny. One runs in. Santana with a relay home. Slide save for two now. Two outs. Runner on first. And now it's Brandon Lau, one for two. And the Pirates man, Chase DeYoung, will take over here. And he's coming in to pitch on four days rest right here. And that might not be a factor at all in terms of being rusty, but he should definitely be well rested. Young's no better than he be, but very disappointing. The young white flag. <laughs> oh man. There's a strike. Diaz leads off first with two down to the inning. Strike two. More and more no guys ball. are looking two to strike. slug regardless of the count. And this situation will keep a close eye on his approach. And takes low for ball one. Oh, Chase the young her you talking shit Eric That <laughs> is buddy what's up the top of the fifth we go we go to the top of the fifth and here's the catcher Andy Rodriguez the wind of the pitch it through ah fires to first on the run Out. one away here in the fifth you have this Stargell jersey is that what you're talking about? <laughs> or the ones that I'm playing in? <laughs> O'Neal Cruz. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense. They do need to add the money, Moretta ce celebration. Moretta's in the, the minors for right now, though. I think the speed factors in the most. 
And ball. the first pitch misses for ball one. But he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've He's got out. a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're, you're so lazy, there. Gettis. There we go, Hayes. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. Hayes, three for three. Hitting is really easy for some guy. Only doing this because of it in Bucko Mike's face. Uh, three for three. Here, I'll get the mouse out for you, Bucko Mike. I could find my mouse. Hayes is three at bats. Oh, he's got three hits, Bucko Mike. Take that. Take that, Bucko Mike. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that... Oh, that was a bad call. ...high contact rate, and they have more barrels because of that. So who is Brian Reynolds? Even this man up to bat right now. It's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Brown ball go. Middle, base hit. Base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second, two on and two out. He's been swinging it really well lately. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Next, it's the Pirates cleanup hitter. Come Carlos on, Santana. Santana. Another two Chance RBIs. More damage right here. A couple of RBIs. Oh! And that one pulled foul. That should have been a dinger. That should have been a dong shot. First and second, two down. Bad timing on. On the ground. He's ground out there. Loud. In plenty of time. We're just out missing on opportunities three. today. Pirates strand a couple. I will say though, this is the most competitive game we've played on stream yet. Bottom of the inning. That makes Here's me happy. And here it comes. Rowdy Telez. Well, these Rays putting hey, together some really good at bats in this game. There's been a lot to like. That's why I hate Rowdy Telez. Chances at the plate. It looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early, get him out of the game before he settles in. So I'd say mission accomplished. Like Rowdy Telez is not supposed to hit the ball off. Second of the day. Two hits for him in this one. Both were extra bases. Got to feel good about that. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. One's in the cage. You're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle. Not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top Woo. of it. Next offering is in for a strike. The ball. next pitch misses. Now one and two. Sway there it is. And he got him. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Bethencourt at the plate for the third oh, time as he comes up empty there. Swing and a miss oh, as he two. chases that one darting out of the zone. At the belt and fires. Foul ball still 0-2. Got, Got him. him. That's his second strikeout. Ace the Young said, no, no white flag here, buddy. Josh Lowe, next to hit for the Rays. Oh, that hi. pitch gets the corner, and that's strike one. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. And there's one, a ball. One. Right handed reliever. Swung on, popped up, left side. Cruz makes the catch, and that'll do it. The Rays strand just the one, but they still lead this one for top six. Now, Jack Sawinski. Eflin back to work. And first offering is foul. Got 2022 off. Chase Pirates. Young, not 2023 job, Chase so Young. That's why. The bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. They have yet to strike out, and they're averaging more than a hit per inning. That's Throwing too many inward breaks right there. Fastball change up heavy versus left. Right hander kicks deals. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. 
Well, take a look at the three-pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0-2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. The next ball. offering misses, and that's one ball, ball one. One strike. Here, Castro. Side. And puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. I like to throw that slider to the back foot. And now the right fielder, Andrew McCutcheon. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. Ah. In the air, left field. Hit the roof. Siri makes the play, and it's out number three. Back here at the ballpark, John Chambi with Chris Singleton in the booth, and leading off the bottom of the sixth, Jose Siri. Go back to the ball. Uh, pretty keep this close. Jessica. Yeah, the right hander back to work. Bounced out to short. Yeah, Cruz whips it to first. He's out. Lead off man retired in the sixth. Oh, but we talk about how the ball is coming out of a pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand oh. as an infielder. Wow, really one impressive. Ball. No strikes. Now one and one. One one. Next pitch ball. is downstairs. And the righty deals. Out there to center. Makes the grab on the run. Two down. Uh, we got Luisica because the Yankees offered us a trade for him. <laughs> uh, we gave up two Capita Marcano. Straight up trade. On the corner for a strike. One one. No uh, we ended five feet ten inches. Twenty years ago, I think. Old. He's knocked in nine over his last ten games. Hit weekly on the ground. Over to first. He's out. Franco gone on the play. Yeah, we had to get rid of two. That ends the inning. Down in order. Go the Rangers. I like calm two. Because they can't add to their 4-2 lead. And welcome back. Top of inning number seven to the plate now for Pittsburgh is the DH. Connor Joe. Ground ball. Connor. Side. Throw over to Tom and Cody Charrington. The leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Andy Rodriguez now at the plate. And yeah, that's ball. a little bit no. high. Ball one. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Oh, the wise uh, outcome, it seems like within the third or fourth pitch yeah. of just about every at bat. Oh. Swing and a high fly hey, fair, ball down the right field line. Oh, Andy. Won't even show me how early I was on that. In the air out to Pop center. That Loud. Under it. So Makes the catch for the out. That's a really nice play. Rain that was really sad. Into the Didn't like that. that catch. We all know those can be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. Wind swirling around in a dome. First time I heard that one. Swing and a ball ripped. Yeah, Cruz. Right field. Get three. Let's get three. Makes the turn We're going three. Second. Not stopping. He's going for three. And he's got him. I'm talking about. Oh, that's Tom and Cruz triple. Quickly, no messing around right there. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend key. through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Now at the plate, key Brian Hayes. That's the third. He couldn't go for. Let's change that. Throw over to Telez. That ends the frame. Air conditioners are blowing. Four to two. That's the one. Pirates with a new arm on the mound. Jonathan Loisica. They know that he can get a right-hander out, but he's in position to face a couple of lefties this inning. Diaz leading things off and takes a strike. 
Oh, and two as he waves at no that ball. one. Two strikes. The pitch. Popped up. Hauls it in, and there's one away. Now it's the second baseman, Brandon Lau. Swinging a foul straight back. That Ball, one misses. Down low. And it's one and one. Kicks and deals. Swing. I mean, and that's let's a go. strikeout. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable ball up one. there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Comes up empty. That's one, strike two. two. Ah. Two outs. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Here we go, Loisega. A new pitcher in the game, Jason Adam. This is right, his third time out this year. I'm here. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Brian Reynolds. And he deals. Oh! All down the right field line. If it's there, it's gone. And that is gone! Never say die, buckos. Let's go. Brian Reynolds leaves the yard. It ain't over. They cut into the deficit. Dennis, that's Brian Reynolds right there. Next to bat will be the Pittsburgh cleanup hitter, Carlos Santana. Ball one, one no strikes. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Next pitch in the dirt, two and oh. Adam. Maybe a little less aggressive <laughs> on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys. I should start up, texting good, all my Yankees friends a little bit and, and just be like, "Hey, so instead of pitch, we want Aaron Judge. Give you two. <laughs> and now two and two. two balls, well, he's two been strikes. good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? No, partner, every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get back. you on track, and then you have a great show. Uh, so perhaps it's the same with him. Nobody really wants their rhythm broken up, but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up. Ah! Andujar and Gonzalez for Judge seems similar to Reynolds' offer last year. <laughs> Just so tough to it. Off. I mean, I like Gonzalez personally. I know he's not great. Tell you what, but hey, we can get Aaron Judge. I'll take it. I'll, I'll, I'll give him to him. Out there on the mound. Digging in, Jack Solinski. Oh, and he swings on, Jack. and misses at the initial offering. Comes up empty on the swing. Oh, oh two now. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Going to count one, one and two. two. And well, that's down what I'm not excited he's for is the bottom of the lineup coming up in the ninth for us. The zone. Trying to win. There we go. Line drive, that's a Did Jack? <laughs> Did you guys hear the fan? He goes, are you serious? <laughs> Let that ball travel. Trust that was hands. funny. Nice job of going right away. And All right, Rudy. Switch hitting second baseman, Rodolfo Castro. Good eye, Rudy. Pitch misses for ball one. One ball, no strikes. Sawinski stands at first with one out. Oh, I'll get That's a gapper. Ah, he's going to catch it. Siri calls it in, and there's two away. Now it's the right fielder, Andrew McCutcheon.
Chuck Hutch in there facing a righty, right? Righty, that's or not. Righty hit me. Is or ball? Okay, one. Don't you dare pinch it. All right, I won't. We'll see what happens. <laughs> out towards right center. Blew out. Mark out what I thought was going to happen. He's got it. I mean, I, I get it. I get what you're saying, but we had a man on. It's now a 4-3 ball game. Uh, it's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. That's not a very... Hit. Oh, the bottom right. of the eighth, now it's the DH, Harold Ramirez, the pitch, and ball. Give me that call. Swing and a miss, one and ball. a count one, one and one. Ah, Loisega. And it gets by him. And stepping in for the Rays, Christian Bethencourt. Got to be careful with a slugger. Loisega is going to get out of this. He can turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. If you use all of our relief pitchers in the first game of this. There's a strike. Nobody out. Runner at first. You're kidding. And that one gets down. Fair ball. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Josh Lowe. No. First pitch, just misses. Now one and one. One-one. No outs. Runners at first and second. So now one, one and ball. two. Two strikes. There we digits go. On that last pitch. Finished him off by the by him up high, but they did a really nice job of setting that pitch up. The plan of attack early on was to keep everything down around the knees. So that was a good call to change his eye level and run it by him for the K. And yeah, he's down 0 2 as he no swings ball. through it. Two strikes. On the ground, a second might be two. Good feed, that's no. one. And he'll be safe at first. Okay. Here's the Rays' leadoff hitter, Manuel Margot. And that one fouled off. So if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Oh, go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. There we go, boys. Go. Got out of it. So the Rays strand a pair. They hang on to a one-run lead, 4-3. New pitcher on now, Pete Fairbanks. He's been so good against lefties. Well, one-run game. Connor Joe digs in now. Come on, Connor Joe. Others guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. I get on base. Righty delivers. That's down no, and in. That's a ball. <laughs> ah. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Good drop. The tying run at the plate. Ball two. Oh, it's not going to go far enough. The air center field makes the catch, and there's one down. Andy All right, Andy, get on. The next pirate to hit. Oh, 
On the ground to first. Ah. Tosses to the pitcher ah. covering the bag. Looks like we're gonna lose this one, guys. The first game that I lose on stream. The corners late in the ball game like this, positioned perfectly. Not looking good. That one pushed foul out of foul to the left. Looking great. Twenty-nine years old, and he was a ninth-round draft pick back in 2015. And he'll make the catch. Hard hit ball right on the end. And the Rays hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one run ball game. It's tough. Well, they win the opener at home. First game of the three. Hey, but that was the first competitive game we've had on stream, and I'm happy with that. All right. You're sleeping in your own bed. You're eating your clubhouse manager's food. Everything's right in your world. And they played like it today. So we lose the Rays. We'll play the rest of this series. Then who do we play? After the race. Then we play the blue. Here. We beat him 13 nothing. <laughs> right? This one. Jonathan Lewisica sustained an injury arm during today. Well, Probably shouldn't have pitched him. All right, hey, I lost, but the computer was like, hey, we're not losing three games to Tampa Bay. And they had my back. So. Crew are in the standings. Second in the standings now. Half game back. Is that you come back? Great block. Okay. All right, we're playing Tampa Bay. Nineteen thirteen Pirates versus seventeen fifteen Toronto. Johan Oviedo with the start today. It is. It's cold. Astro. But, oh, boy. Oh, no, it's ready, though. Put Bay at second. For Astro. Astro. Boy. Go. I don't want to. They will go. Bottom of the lineup. Actually, we're going. All right, get it done. Vladdy in their lineup today. Sandwich between Mazeroski Way and the Roberto Clemente Bridge. Welcome to PNC Park. Interleague baseball on first pitch coming your way next. And now for the Jays. Oh, Han. Oh, Viedo. Slapped foul. Okay. Back with. Ground ball to the right side, and it goes just foul. Got him. Got him. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, yep. likes to is Oviedo pitching the other tonight? Way, but that time, but no. a little anxious. And now the center fielder, Santiago Espinal. Oh. 
Oh, up the middle. Why am I getting? Cruise. What the? F to first, but oh, why am I getting tutorials all of a sudden? Up to Oviedo the is pitching tonight. The why am I getting? That was a nice run hitter in the American League. Bobichet, second Damn. round pick, 2016, and a kid who comes from pretty good baseball family. No. His Inside. dad Dante played for California, Milwaukee, Colorado, Cincinnati, and Boston over hey. 14 big league seasons, and Dante could swing it. Yeah, and you just get the sense in watching Bo that this guy <laughs> all he wants to do is win. A gamer goes hard and wants to lead that ball club to a championship there's one out and works out two. it works out in the end one error in the inning but nothing more and now the pirates will get their first opportunity no score okay here's oniel cruz The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Bassett, a former all-star. He features a sinker, a four-seamer, a cutter, a curve, and he works in a slider. He swings and fouls one off. I, <laughs> I knew it was coming. He fooled him with a breaking ball. Come there. on. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there. And I don't mean to laugh, that was coming. that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. Yeah. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle in. Kind of has cutter action, and it just bunches you up to whereas you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it. And not much you can do unless well, you recognize the, the spin early and you spit on it. The 1-1. One, one. And fouled off. That was bad. I played this. It's nice to play fastball. One, two now. That two one balls, missed. Two strikes. But again, I see a fastball and I swing. And the right hander deals. There it is. Line drive Dang. puts it away <laughs> for the out. Thought he hit a little harder than that. <laughs> Brian Reynolds here. Fifth in the NL in batting average coming into this one. All right, Reynolds. On the ground right side. Got me with that. Merrifield to got me with in the time. And they take care of Reynolds for the out. Back here at PNC Park, new inning getting started. And now the Toronto cleanup hitter, George Springer. Line to left, and that's just foul. Chris, one of the things that's really cool about George Springer's story is what he has overcome. As a kid, he had a lot of anxiety, and he had a stutter. And he's a guy now that speaks publicly and does so marvelously and is a great spokesperson for young people who struggle with stutter. Yeah, the Stuttering Association for the Young, SAY is the acronym, and George Springer doing a great job representing that organization. Uh, the wind uh, kick the pitch. Oh. And that one off the outside edge. It's a good take. Hard ground ball, base now. All right. Okay. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the oh. ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. The 1 0. And that one is lifted in the air. McCutcheon makes the grab one away. 
All right, we got any predict predictions for the game tonight? Underguard's pitching, Oviedo's pitching for us. Big game against the Dodgers. And there's the strike. I'm ready. Like I'm, I am ready for this game tonight. Last year when we swept the Dodgers, that was my World Series. Like I didn't let anybody, in my office, not hear about. It. Like. I was all about it. What do we think? We got a couple people in the chat. Let me know what you think. Some guys are good. What happened tonight? But right there, they clearly had a plan to pound that part of the zone, and he wasn't able to put up much of a. They released lineups yet? Outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Springer off of first. Yeah, Pirates. Arcano, Tuk, that in second. Swing and a miss. And Hayes, Tuk, touch, Santana. Winsky. Winsky, Joe, Castro Bay. I don't know who's cutting up. I assume. Any predictions? We got three people watching. Nobody's got a prediction for tonight. Ground ball right side, and that's a base hit. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back. This one's yeah, like one on well. Way back there. Gone. Not great. Not great, guys. Part of the plate for a home run, but I think it caught just too much of that outside part of the plate. Maybe a little bit of a mistake, oh, but he didn't miss it at the plate. And a pitch. Up the middle. On the run, throw to first. Got him. All right. And that is that. One bad inning will not Look define this game. The inning comes right here. A three-run homer. Welcome back. Here's the veteran first baseman, Carlos Santana. Bassett back to work. That one oh, to first, Santana. he grabs it in foul ground. Oh, baby. So after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. There it is. That's what I'm talking about. And it's out of here. Blam Tana. His fourth home run of the season, and they're chipping away. It's three-one. What I say? So here's the DH. Game will, will not Joe. be defined by one half inning. Next pitch is come on, Joe. Down. Calls it in, and there's one away. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Good Jack. Jack Sawinski, the next to hit, takes ball one. Ah. In the air to left get the PCI center. up. Varsho pulls it down, and there's two gone. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. Why am I swinging at high pitches, dude? The high fastball, particularly for young hitters, can be hard to lay off of because you see it so well at eye level. But it's really hard to catch up and get that top hand to work on time. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. And that extends the inning. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit Honor pretty Joe. through the infield. No, so this is G1 I think bet. happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. And now, let's see if they force some action. with. Oh, Bay pokes base. one through. Yeah, gets by him. Throw in, holds the lead. see that they haven't pick, fixed, uh, fixed Bay in the franchise. <laughs> he fixed him in Dying Dynasty franchise. He still looks like a weird 40 year old man. That anytime you can get him to find a hole. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Andy, the dude. The second, toss the belt, He's out. And that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. But not before they're able to draw closer with this flag. Back here at the ballpark, stepping in the long ball threat, Whit Merrifield. 
And there's a strike on the outside corner. Merrifield, multi-time all-star, a member of the 1,000 hit club, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. The flip to the pitcher oh. covering, and a quick out number one. Be careful. Santiago Espinal next up for the Blue Jays. First pitch, and he just one. misses. Espinal, 28 years old, and he was selected for the All-Star game last year. Next offering is fouled back. Here's a 1-1. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Santana brings it in with a nice running grab. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Bichette oh, stands it. in here, leaves that one off the inside. On the ground, out to short. Slings it across, oh. and Bichette is retired. As we go to the last of the third, and the batter now, O'Neal Cruz. That one Count misses in the oh. dirt. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Here it is, up the middle. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. It was all over that one. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it and... There's just no chance for the infielders with how hard okay, he hit it. Sure. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Ground ball up the middle. Oh, save the double play. Tosses to first. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Brian Reynolds. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Reynolds, oh, that's, that's left, throws right, hitting third in the lineup. He's been on a terrific run at the plate, hitting over 350 in his last 10. Next offering Don't is lay off back. those, man. And he grounds one ah. back up the middle. Nice grab. It's there, and that's a great play. That's good. A great sliding stop. I think we need a breakdown from StatCast to fully appreciate the think. difficulty of that play. Yeah, Boo, these numbers on, show slam, how Anna. good of a play it actually was. And that sliding catch was difficult enough, and... Somehow he still managed a great throw to first. What a play. Here comes a pitch. Rolled uh -huh. softly, but that goes foul. Cruz on third with two out. Next offering is foul back. pitch one ball two strikes That's two ball balls two. two strikes to count with two outs right. come on come on you get bat oh it's in and out of his glove oh Get there! But in got time, it. nice job to Oh my god. So You're teasing me. The game is teasing and me, dude. Back. And now the right fielder, George Springer. Chris George Springer, a Connecticut name. In fact, played his college ball at UConn. First round pick by the Astros in 2011. And he helped lead the Astros to the World Series in 2017. The pitch. And a foul ball. Yeah, just a tremendous athlete, and his signing was the turning point in the Houston Astros organization to become a winning franchise. And you remember that magazine cover back in 2014 predicting the Astros to win the World Series in 2017, and it came true. 
Jansen. The batter now as he swings oh, and misses one. for strike one. The 0-2. And puts the squeeze on that. And there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. And next for Toronto, Brandon Bell. Check Ball swing. One. He held up. And it's 1-0. Oh. Swing and a miss. And he got him to chase. Next offering is in for a strike. Cold night like tonight, last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off-speed pitches may be... There you go. made there, and that retires the side. Bruce is off. That's notoriously bad. Joe. The wind of the pitch. Next offering, pop to the air, right field. Springer there makes the catch, and there's one down. Jack Sawinski will hit next. And first offering is fouled off. Come on. And that's outside. Ball in two strikes. That's that one just misses. Two really balls, good take, two especially strikes. two strikes. Three. Uh. And now it's Andrew McCutcheon. One for one with a single so far. Line and caught at third by Chapman. Rough. The gold glove. Rough, rough, rough. Back here at PNC Park, top five, John Shambi with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Matt Chapman. The right-hander back to work. Aye. There's a strike. Ball one there. One ball, one strike. And a pitch. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. A wind and a pitch. Got him swinging. Chapman is gone. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Varsho oh, takes good. a ball as he stands in for the second time. Swing, and this one's bounced to the ground. Gathers oh, and it. throws to first. And the first two set down in the <laughs> top of the fifth. Beck ball. stands in with two away as he takes ball a ball. One, no strike. Now one and one. I got a ball, one strike. Lifted in the Ooh, air, come on, right touch. field. Okay. And he'll play it Dude. out of bounds. You're an old man. But... I don't know Try how he's catch. able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty oh. incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. One and one. Swings through that one. Next offering is in for a strike. Kicks and fires. Fights that one away. Still one and two. Swings and misses. Slider right. got him. Now we're going to get somebody up in the 
Welcome back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Standing in is the power hitting second baseman, G1 Bay. Chills in the Okay. Go. There you go. And a pitch. That's out to center field. Espinal makes the grab one down. Next to hit, Andy Rodriguez. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. And the first one pitch misses for ball one. These hitters are going to have to find a way to be a little more patient, see more pitches per at bat. Otherwise, that bullpen's not going to have to work over there, and it's going to be advantage pitching all game long. Bichette whips He's it to out. first. And a couple of quick outs. Good sinker low in the zone right there uh, and produced uh, exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground, nice ground out. And first offering is fouled off. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Fought off foul. Going to now. Can't connect on the curveball. Struck him out. Bucks go down quietly, and it remains a three. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six and now for the Jays Santiago Espinal that one at the knees for a strike ah. next offering is in for a strike love how vocal the umpire is today no doubt in the hitter's mind catcher's mind and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call and the righty deals Tapped softly on the ground. The cruise. Low throw and he can't hey. dig it out. So up next for Toronto, Bo Bichette. Righty reliever out of the pen, Jonathan Loisica. He pitched yesterday and we'll see him once again. Hey. That's in for a strike. Bichette measures six feet even, 190 pounds. What, what are we doing with Hayes here? Pick. Back in 2016. Throw back you in know Hayes is better than first that. And second, Apparently the people nobody hate this guy. Well, his hot hitting continues. He's been getting great results lately. That pretty much split the zone hey. down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Springer stands in now and watches strike one. One for two. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Now it's Jansen in the head. That hey. one's in there, 0 and 1. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but nope. I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching ball, for a strike. double play in this spot. <laughs> Righty to the plate. And a swing and a miss. Back to back strikeouts. So first and second with two outs. Brandon Bell next up for the Blue Jays. In the air out towards right center. McCutcheon brings it in for the third out. So they strand a pair. Two, three, four, two up in the home. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the six. Now batting key Brian Hayes. Bassett back to work. In the air, right field. And George makes the grab. One up, one down. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Ryan awesome. Reynolds. There you go, Reynolds. And a seed into center. That's a base hit. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He oh, stayed yeah. inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a oh. tee. Santana in the box for the third time today as he takes that one off the plate. Uh -huh. 
pitch that misses. Ball two balls, no strikes. You know, these guys definitely looking for Earth. a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you can Earth. find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. Reynolds leads off first with one away. <laughs> two and two with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base try to stay out of a double play here now all leave it up here comes the pitch there goes the runner from first. Yeah. throw there safe. Tough. Tough. Down. don't need the power sweep here comes a three two gets a piece and stays okay. alive okay. runner at second here one gone <laughs> The three two is nice. off the outside edge and nice. ball four. He's making things difficult for himself done. right now out there on the mound, but you know his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's gonna have to buckle down right here. Connor Joe, the next pirate to hit. Joe, Joe. having more success against left-handed pitching this season, as might be expected. And there's a foul was, ball. hitter has got some really good bad. opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can Other determine one. whether or not he go. can score on that base hit. Once though. Fights that one away and the count remains 0-2. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. That ain't gonna do it. Makes the grab on the run. Two away. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is right, looking Jack. forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Jack's up next for the Pirates, Jack Sawinski. They're showing his clutches power. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Count one one count. Look for him to be aggressive here. You got some runners on base, an opportunity to catch a mistake and put some runs up on the board. Ooh. To the right side. Tosses to the He's pitcher out. covering the bag. And that is the inning. Pirates. <sighs> back here in Pittsburgh, we go to the top of the seventh. Here's Matt Chapman. And here it comes. That's and the, the pitch ball. is outside. Ball one. That's a strike. The pitch. In there at the knees for a strike. Struck him out swinging. Chased the fastball up the ladder for strike three. You know, he showed some excellent command of his pitches in that oh at bat. He kept everything down near the knees, really competed in that location of the zone, and that really set up the high fastball for the strikeout. One down, base is empty. And one and two. And that one almost got him. Next pitch is inside. Three and two now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. Two outs, base is empty. Chris Beck next up for the Blue Jays. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Oh, is it third? New pitcher on here, Dwayne Underwood Jr. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. All one's the count. At the belt and fires. Yeah. There's the strike. And that's nope. outside. outside. Kicks and deals. 
right through there. Got him. And that'll do it. Nothing doing for the Blue Jays, but they still lead it 3-1. And welcome back. Set for the last half of the seventh at the play. Andrew McCutcheon. Going one. You know, these Pirates, as you probably noticed, haven't been shy at the plate at all. In fact, they've probably been too aggressive at times. They're swinging at a lot of first pitches, and they've given away seven outs as a result. They might just want to consider a more patient approach. One one. Wouldn't chase that time. I'm sure it's at least something they've chatted about in the dugout. Coming into this one, that was probably the game plan. Attack early in the count, but doesn't seem to be working out the way they wanted to. We'll see if they make an adjustment. And he makes the catch. One down. Next to hit, G1 Bay. Swing and a high fly ball. Whoa. Struck right field. That one's Power good. hitting second baseman, G1 Bay. Gets us within a run. Wow. First, first career home run in the show. moment in his young career. And who knows, maybe that will open the floodgates for him. Yeah, getting that out of wow. the way can be a big confidence booster. It feels like a huge weight just been taken off your back. You can go up there with a lot less pressure on you now, and I wouldn't be surprised if he gets hot for a little while. What do you remember about your first career homer, Chris? Well, I remember it was off of Omar Oliveras, and, you know, being there in Los All right, Angeles Andy. against the Angels, just a tremendous yeah, that was the woman beater. ballpark and a special moment for sure. This one don't like that. Right well, I didn't really celebrate Ringer it. On the move. <laughs> he gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. And there's two away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, O'Neal Cruz. First offering misses the mark. Ah. Out towards left center. Espinal moves under it. He's got it. And that will end the That should have been home. Cannonball coming. It's now a 3-2 ball game. Back here at PNC Park, we go to the eighth. Whit Merrifield up to the plate. And a pitch. And a curve misses outside. He's a bullpen arm that keeps the ball in the ballpark. But obviously, out of the bullpen, you're looking to limit home runs. Yeah, and that's why he's such a high leverage arm. Just doesn't matter for him. He looks at attacking the zone and attacking hitters regardless of the situation. Good arm side run and sink on that pitch right there. Got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. Espinal batting with one down, takes a strike. That one's in there, and the count is 0-2. And the 0-2. Ball Just one. missed. One ball, two strikes. And that misses Whoa, off the outside down. edge. And the 2-2. Two -two. Fights it off, you'll see another. On the ground to third. Oh, what a play. Awesome oh. play there. What a play by Hayes. Bobichette next up for the Blue Jays. Ball Good one, no side. strikes. Nope, and another ball. ball. Two and oh. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Filthy changeup right there. Just pulled the string. Swing nice. and misses All right. with a fastball up in the zone. Need a run. It at least the, the run here. The game, the righty, Eric Swanson. These are the spots. The pitch. There it is. Base hit into the outfield. And the leadoff man aboard. Leadoff man on. Uh, Brian Reynolds, the next pirate to hit. Good Reynolds. swing out of him last time. Ripped a liner in the center. And that one is lifted in the air. Okay. Espinal pulls it in. One away. Is. And now it's. 
the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. He's already homered here in this one. And first off, Rangers that was the off. one. That was the one. Runner, you got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Next offering is fouled back. Hayes leads off first with one away. Runner on the goal. Pitch is low. He's in there. And nice. that's a stolen base. Not even Perfectly executed. Tyler may have made the difference right there. It's kind of hard to say, though. It's a little tougher for a catcher with a left-handed hitter in the box. And that hitter does not have to move at all to help you out. He just got under the throw, and it took off on him a little bit. 2-2 two, two now. All right. Foul ball Auto ball. stays alive. Oh, that one off. Right-handed reliever. And now Number it's filled up. No, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well. So much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. Chop to the right bad. side. That was bad. Steps on first for the out. All right, let's... Connor Joe, I might have to take. And here is what you what the lucky go. Derek Shelton bringing a bat off the bench now. Kevin Plowecki, he comes to the plate in a huge spot in this one. Get down. Get down. Let's go, Plowecki. Plowecki, baby. Let's go. Let's go. So two down. Jack Sawinski. Oh, Jack. To hit. And first oh, off, oh, 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 oh. I can't believe we tied this thing. Two gone. Great. The possible go ahead run at first. And delivers outside. outside. Movement in the Blue Jays' bullpen. Jimmy Garcia getting ready to go. Simber getting loose as well. That misses the zone. Good eye. And that's ball two. Good eye, Jack. Hey. And that gets the top of the zone. All right. For Didn't want that one, Jack. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable to play is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. Oh, he tipped it, but he caught it. Foul tipped it, but it was caught. We're back. It's the top of the night, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Colin Holderman. Uh, this guy can bring it velocity wise. So, why the kick the pitch? See the velocity the 97 count. with that fastball. Strike two. Another 0 2 strike. count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. Next offering is foul back. Gonna count one and two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Nice. And he's down on strikes for the down, second time today. Danny Jansen to hit here. That just Ball misses. That Ball one. Hey. There's a strike. Here's a 1-1. One, one. There's a strike. Well, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that.
Nice. Very strong nice. coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one, getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. These aren't fun at bats if you're a hitter. I'm so glad I'm retired. Next offering is in for a strike. Get him out of here. Swings and misses. Let's go. Big right, he strikes out the side. Welcome back. Oh, to set for the bottom of the ninth. Now you get back, right touch. Fielder, Andrew McCutcheon. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Barsho makes a nice grab at a full sprint. Yeah, do it, Geddes. Eiler just picked it up last night. G1 Bay. Who's playing Diamond Dynasty? Hit. He's already homered in this game. Well, one swing's a lot easier than I played Jim last night in Diamond Dynasty. To win this ball game. You better believe he's going to be all in to hit the ball over the fence somewhere. And that one fouled off. You know, I'm thinking over the speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Now the one on the ground, right off. side. Merrifield, the first in time, and that quickly two away. Well, there's a lot that, on that it is right there. very nice good way to learn the play. To bear down especially, the get the ground ball especially if you're Excellent. playing uh, Diamond Dynasty. Catcher now, Andy Rodriguez. This guy, one of the best contact men in the sport as well, outstanding on the defensive end. Swanson, 29 years old, and he was drafted in the eighth round back in 2014. Next Ball, one is outside. off the plate, and one and one. Get on. Line drive. Let's go, and Andy. Down for a base hit. So the two-out knock extends the inning and sends them back to the top of the order. Well, here we go. Winning run is on base with two away. This is why hitters work so hard on driving the ball gap to gap in batting practice. There's a lot of room out there. And if you can rip one into that open ball. space, it usually means extra base. Come on, Cruz. Walk it off, baby. He now takes ball one off the plate. They're scared of Cruz. They're scared of, no, he's really scared of Cruz. Him away this at -bat. Sometimes Red reviews and people velocity. don't like it because they roll over something on the ground. Oh, that's stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. People are mad that fielding is slightly more difficult. That's why people. Are... Here's a two one. Yeah, that's Just because they have to actually pay attention to what they're doing when they would be next big bat with a potentially huge opportunity. Trying to send this extra inning. Oh. Lifted in the air right center field. Go. So drifts towards it. Drops into the glove. And the inning is over. Pirates leave one. Come on. Nah. Three. Oh. Oh. So they're making a move for a bat off the bench. I was getting 20 Vladimir runs. In the Guerrero Jr. He represents the game. So now it's. I put dynamic difficulty on. Definitely. And he deals. On the ground, right side. Tosses. Okay. First. And here in the tenth, the leadoff man is out. If you bring Bednar on. Varsho, one for three. Bring Bednar on. Good fastball to start him off at strike one in the infield at the corners. Don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Ooh. Next pitch just misses one and two to count. Nice swing and a miss. Back to slider. Huge strike out there. Oh, that's a huge strike out right there. Big second out. Infield was in. They were playing the full court press, and he got the swing and miss. 
Keeps this one tied. This next at bat should be a lot of fun. The odds of wiggling out of this just went up considerably. And now two and nothing. Big swing. Now we'll look down to first. And he went around just enough that time. Righty delivers. Ball Come right on. Uh. Oh, he hit yep, him. I got him. And that but he swung. Ball. That really wasn't a bad pitch at all. But hitters these days just aren't afraid to get up on top of the plate. Whit Merrifield next up for the Blue Jays. They say you went. Oh, and one. Out towards right Fair center catch. field. Nice grab, McCutcheon. Good stuff. Make that play, and that we got covered up. Out of the bullpen for the Jays. Runner in scoring position. No outs at the plate for Pittsburgh. Key Brian Hayes used the big part of the field last time. Nice liner to center. The pitch. Fastball for a strike. That's strike one. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with this speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. The pitch. Not the best swing that oh, time from the first round oh, yeah. pick. Right-hander kicks, deals. Bounce to third. Guerrero, the toss to first. One out in the bottom of the tenth. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Reynolds, the next to hit, takes outside. Look at this. I'm not reading that in the middle of live stream. Maybe once I finish this game, I'll read out loud. And the right hater deals. That's, That's both a little bit low. Winning low. run stands at second. <laughs> read it out loud, LMAO. Just three. miss. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations. And right here with the middle of the order hitter up, runner in scoring position. He's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. All right. Good. Three, two on the way. Into center. He's under it. Brings it in. Runner tagging for third. And he's up to third safely with two gone. I just need a base hit. Base hit the winner. And here's the first baseman, Carlos Santana. It's right down the middle. Why am I moving my piece guy? Every time, every time a ball comes down the middle. I move my PCI down. Kicks and fires. And it's fouled away. Winning run at third. Two down. This is inside. And it's one and two. And the pitch. Two two to count. To the right side. Oh, nice job. and very job. nicely done for the out. That was a great job of doing the math. He had the perfect angle, diving stop, completes the play, and that ends the inning. I thought I had it. I thought I won. Back 
now we're in extras and there's a new arm on the mound david bednar he's been so good against you see eye hitting get it what you're talking about makes it more realistic and now for the jays people Santiago don't like when their Espino. video games are realistic talk to here comes a pitch there's the type of guy to get mad the if he can't score 15 goals a on second to begin the inning was a big move for baseball in 2020. So, Chris, how has that changed the way relievers approach these innings? Well, I don't think it's that much different from coming in to clean up someone else's mess. Definitely not ideal. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Well, that's a third ball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for, a bit of a mistake, and I'd say in a very hittable location. But clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. Man, it's second. That's through there for a strike. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do. Swing and a miss. It's it's down, a square, Bo. And it's a strikeout. Here's George Springer. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. There's a strike. Hey, All seven straight count. strikes to start the frame. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Oh, and two as he strikes. waves at that one. All right, there's number eight, one away. It's softly on the ground, left side. Zips it to first. That takes. Well, it was immaculate, other than the fact that it was hit to the third across, baseman. But still, no hits, I'm pitched. No errors, and it. one okay. left on. One run can win it as we move to the bottom of the eleventh. Oh, uh, Carlos Santana's on second. We want to get faster. Anything? Oh, we put Triolo out there, but Triolo plays first? No. Oh. Yeah, on my bench, I can play. Back here in Pittsburgh, and now the DH. Kevin Probably a bad move, but I don't have another first base. I guess I can move somebody else around. And the pitch. In the air, right side. Springer there makes the catch. Runner tags up for third. Check that. He'll stay at second with one away. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, on, Jack, Jack. Jack Sawinski. And the there's ball. a ball. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. One away, the winning run at second. Next pitch oh, misses, counts. and a count two and one. Whoa! And he dodges that fastball. And now a full count. And boy, that was the pitch. 3 1. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. The 3 2 oh, is the outside edge, and that is ball four. We'll take well, they didn't give anything to hit, and now with runners on first and second, they've set up a double play opportunity. So, not a terrible result. McCutcheon swings through oh, it for strike one. Well, you can't offer it that pitch in an 0-0 count. It's a strike, but not every strike is a good strike early in the count. On the ground, a short could be two. Oh. Goes to second. Everybody's safe. There. Everybody's safe. Short oh, man, we just need one in the gap. Right there. Big time swing when this team really needed it. Pretty much did the Bombay. opposite of what you want to do with the pitch on the outside part of the plate like that. Just rolled over, but good hustle down the line and one got the infield knock. Really important at bat coming up now. The 1 0. Swing and a pop up. Bar show on the move. Go, go, go. Base hit. That'll do it. The winning run crosses the plate and the. G1 Bay with the walk off blue. 
Walk off bloop single. Let's go. Oh man. Evan inning. Nobody forgets that. A memorable moment that'll be logged in the backs of the minds of everybody that witnessed this here today. And the final score here. I was so anticlimactic though. One run extra. I I fully thought that was gonna be Chris and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB the show. I'm John Shambi. Thanks for joining Ooh. us. Him. What a game. You want Bay went three for five. That's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. All right, get us. You want me to read this review? All right. This game has deteriorated into one of the most frustrating and biggest waste of time sports games out there. I played two straight days and rode to the show mode as a pitcher. Got my player up to a 75, which got me to the pros for the end of the end of a season they optioned me back to triple a i thought they would call call me back up the following season i really played most of the first season all of the second season pitching seven seven nine seven to nine scoreless with 10 15 strikeouts again never got called up again i signed with a different different team my created player is now 25 years old i had starting pitchers at a lower rating than once again, option to AAA. I can't believe this game has become so terrible. At one time, being one of the best sports titles out there, I highly recommend not purchasing. I highly recommend not purchasing the game. Is you enjoy if you go to the show or Dynasty mode. Play MLB The Show 15 has more realistic player progression and prob about the same graphics animation which should be embarrassing for sounds like that guy just sucks at road to the show and who pitching's not my thing but who plays as a pitcher in road to the show that seems boring as hell yeah he's an option due to his attitude or he's not like there's missions that you have to do in the game like maybe he's not completely efficient like, play the game, maybe. That would help. And we lost. We had a three-game win streak. In this game... We're going to stop because we have to set... Scouting assignments, one of my favorite parts of the stream. All right, let's look at our scouting. Robert Ramirez. Brawls. Found out a little more about these. Really, this guy still has pretty good potential. 31st on our draft. Then we discovered some at the prospects that we found. Got it. Wyatt McGinn. Okay. Top 100 guys a catcher. I don't necessarily know. Gotta get Bobby Caps. Bobby Caps. Thank you. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna to scout the number guy. Oh, this is Bobby Caps. Okay. I kind of like Bobby Caps. We're going to come back to Bobby Caps. 
Ow. A little bit of starting pitching. Got it. And have our guy. Got some outfielders. So we'll check this next stream. The end of next stream. Oh, I don't want to fire Andy. Shelton gives us minus three fill. Bag bump. Plus three. Look at Freak Brock. That's law. Better. Better hitting, better pitching coach, and a better manager. Andy Haynes should be the manager. Anyway. This game. Bill's no longer in auto utility. The Dodgers are interested in offering us a trade. Do that trade. For beat, for beat, leave us for Miguel. Like, um, what is he? This stats so far this year. Seven hits, that's his double RBI. Five, five walks, six strikeouts. I don't know. During this. Hindu horror. Really batting 287. 35 hits and 100. Five doubles. Yeah, no. I don't like that we're paying Andrew Horror as much as we are. But Andrew Horror is a better player. Than sure, Andrew Horror's older. But this guy only has CP. Us would have to have sorry dog. Anyway, I think we're gonna call it a wrap. About two hours. Be sure to if you're still here, be sure to watch the vlog. The vlog was fun. The vlog is cool. Got another one coming out this coming Monday. I have to finish actually. Uh, it's coming out this coming Monday. The vlogs are fun. We've got the Pirates playing in about an hour and a half. Ready for that. After the game, the boys are getting on. I think it's out of schedule. I think I want to say it's Jim and Donardo tonight on the post game. Make sure you're watching post game. And Thursday night, OOTP with Jim. That's always fun. A lot of people go to the OTT. OOTP uh, streams. I think it's because it's late at night. I don't have the luxury of doing it late at night. So, probably do it through. We're changing to three o'clock. Hopefully, it gets us more people watching the stream. Uh, I appreciate everyone who has come to the stream today. I appreciate you if you were in the chat. We had Jim in the chat. We had Geddes in the chat. We had Dale in the chat. We had Eric in the chat. We had Bucko Mike as always. Uh, and we had Austin. Austin, I really appreciate you, my man. Um, so, yeah. Thank you, guys. And we're going to call it a wrap for today. We'll see you next Tuesday at 3 p.m. for another MLB The Show rant, uh, Pirates 
franchise mode, live stream. See ya. I see ya.